that f of z equals root of mod x y is not regular at origin all those here equations are satisfied here the given function is purely real this we have u of x y equals root of mod x y and v of x y equals 0 now we evaluate all the four partial derivatives at 0 0 to check whether CR equations are satisfied at origin. When we evaluate dou u by dou x, we have to keep y constant and the constant value should be y equals 0 since we are evaluating the partial dou derivatives at 0 0. The increment given to u of 0 0 is u of x 0 where y is constant and x is incremented from 0 to a general value x. So by limiting definition we have dou u by dou x equals limit x tends to 0 u of x 0 minus u of 0 0 divided by the increment x. u of x 0 when x equal to x and y equal to 0 is substituted in the given function f of z equals root of mod x y we obtain u of x 0 equals 0. Therefore we have dou u by dou x equals limit x tends to 0 0 minus 0 divided by x which is equal to 0. When we evaluate dou u by dou y, we treat x as a constant and the constant value for x will be x equals 0. We have by limiting definition limit y tends to 0 u of 0 y minus u of 0 0 divided by y where y is the increment. When we substitute x equals 0 and y equals y in the given function f of z equals root of mod x y we obtain u of 0 y equals 0. Again we obtain dou u by dou y equals limit y tends to 0, 0 minus 0 divided by y which is equal to 0. Similarly we find out dou v by dou x treating y as constant where y equals 0. By limiting definition we have limit x tends to 0, v of x 0 minus v of 0 0 divided by the increment given to variable x which is equal to x here which is equal to limit x tends to 0, 0 minus 0 divided by x which is equal to 0. We know that v of x 0 is obtained by giving x equal to x and y equal to 0 to the function v of x y in the given function. In the given function we already observed that v of x y equal to 0 at any point. So v of x 0 is always 0. Similarly, we have dou v by dou y equals limit y tends to 0, keeping x as constant, x equals 0, v of 0 y minus v of 0 0 divided by y. We know that v is 0 here, therefore dou v by dou y is also 0. Here we have observed that all the partial order derivatives are taking the value 0 and hence CR equations are satisfied at origin. But it doesn't mean that the function is analytic. Let us check f dash of z at point z equal to 0 using the limit definition of derivative. We have f dash of z equals limit z tends to 0 f of z minus f of 0 divided by the increment given to the z variable which is z here. f of z is the given function which is root of mod x y and z can be replaced by x plus i y. At 0 0 we have f of z equals to root of mod 0 into 0 which is equal to 0. When z approach 0 along the line y equals to mx which is one among the infinitely many possibilities we obtain f dash of 0 along the path y equal to mx given by limit x tends to 0 root of mod mx square divided by x into 1 plus i mx because we replace every y by mx. Also x approaching 0 indicates that y approaches 0. Thus we have f dash of 0 given by limit x tends to 0 root of mod m divided by 1 plus i m because we can take outside x square outside the modular sign and root of x square we obtain x. x gets cancelled from numerator and denominator. Here you can see that the limit is depending on the value of m. If you choose y equals 2x you get f dash of 0 equals limit root of mod 2 divided by 1 plus 2i. If you take y equals to 3x you get f dash of 0 equals limit x tends to 0 root of 
3 divided by 1 plus 3i. Since the limit varies along different path, we will conclude that the limit is not unique and hence the limit does not exist. Since the limit does not exist at 0, 0, we observe that f of z is not analytic at 0, 0. Whenever f of z is analytic, it's for sure that f of z satisfies CR equations. We have from mathematical logic, p implies q implies negation, q implies negation p. That is, if CR equations are not satisfied, then it's for sure that f of z is not analytic. But if f of z satisfies CR equations, always we cannot conclude that f of z is analytic.